Uh oh, she's it's upset. Been a while. What do you want with me now? There were whispers that acceleration trigger information was going around, but... You're here to kill me? I'm only here to say hello. We're cooperating in the reclamation project. But if Baron were to incur any losses, thoughts may change. You won't touch my vessel. <laughs> Do you think you can best your master? We'll meet again. There's information on beacons in the depths? Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Why are the depths called the depths? Why can't information be found? <laughs> okay. The reason is that the entire area is being intentionally jammed by the Crimson Queen. Even resonance radar can't easily break through their jamming. That certainly sheds light on things. But how did you know? Baron has been connected with the Crimson Queen since I was there. If Baron has information on secret beacons in the depths, then... I see. I'll try to strike a deal with Baron. But I'm not sure they'll be upfront about their connections with the Crimson Queen. Anyway, thank you. What you told me is bound to be of help. I'm glad. And Lulu, don't get involved with Baron. You hear me? No matter what happens, nothing good will come of it. All right. What is it? Oh! Hilda Enriquez came looking for information. We said no over the air, but you told her, didn't you? <sighs> I want to make an offer. What's that? Give the humanoid origami to us. If you do that, we'll give you the route through the depths. <sighs> if you don't, we'll tell them to hit this vessel with an ash storm. That's not an offer, it's a threat. Who gave you this order? You already know the answer to that. It's Baron. You should know well enough how ash storms are created. Doesn't that bother you at all? Starting one means throwing away an age's life. Special chips installed in our armlets that turn ages into weapons. Baron technology. Baron provided that technology to the Crimson Queen and is performing trials with it. I don't have any response to that. My existence is fighting. That's it. I expect you to make the right decision. <laughs> Lulu, don't do it! Lulu, no! You were listening in. This is my problem. Leave it to me. Morgan, you have the gun? Just in case, get the gun. Alright, I gotta go talk to Lulu. Where is she hiding at? God damn, Hugo! I swear to God! <laughs> the hell? Position. Begin when ready. Be sure to come home, okay? Where the fuck are we? Let's end this quickly. I don't. I don't think I've ever been here before. What the hell? Ah! 
These bats are giving me a hard time. I remember now. Oh, the fight with Levy. Oh my god, dude. Fought these things. Uh. Looks stun grenades aren't as good as they used to be. Down! Oh, Lulu's there? What the fuck? Hit it! Throw it away! Oh, yeah! There we go, dude. Oh, look at it! It looks so cool! This is no sweat with you around. I have a bad feeling. Huh? Where's Lulu? It looks like Lulu's signal has disappeared. She's not responding to calls either. What's going on? Lulu! Don't make me hate your character now! It's too- it's these fucks! What? Is this a joke? Where's the humanoid origami? Would you really rather send your precious vessel to vanish in the ash? Let me negotiate. There's no room for any more negotiation. In that case... Oh damn! You may be rotten, but you're just like the rest of us. You're willing to be a disposable pawn, eh? What's this about? She's ready to go into a fight she can't win. I don't care. Do what you have to do and make sure that their vessel is sunk. Got that? <sighs> oh damn! I'm about to duke it out! Demonstrate for me the strength of your resolve. Oh shit! <laughs> oh! You're willing to die, right? With that mindset, why not do it for Baron then? I won't. The crew on the Chrysanthemum, they were the very first to treat me like a real person. Those people are my friends. I will fight for their sake until my very last drop of blood. <laughs> You're pretty strong, but... You know what it's like to be human, Lulu. I'm... I'm... Hurry up and crush that cockroach. I have things to do. Hmm. Do your ears work? I told you to crush her. That crawling little cockroach. Shut up. Hmm? I said shut up. Bastard, who do you think you are? This is a test of strength with everything on the line. Do not interfere. What did you say? Lulu. Your sword skill is impressive. You've grown quite strong, haven't you? Master... Idiot. You ages are nothing but cockroaches. Die here together. Shut up, you fat fuck! Fire. What? That's taken care of. What a waste of time. What? Master... Why? <sighs> you... You damn vermin! Shoot! Turn them to ash! Hello there. Hi. Uh, sorry to be the bringer of bad news, but... <laughs> the are under our control. 
Zeke, seriously, I told you to stop spreading that info. What's your problem? Heroes like us are supposed to have some swagger, you know? You filthy maggots! That's... an ash storm generator. Now, die! Yeah! It's you. Sorry we're late, Lulu. What the hell are you doing here? Oh shit! Oh shit! Let go of me! Your actions are in clear violation of Ashland Navigation Law. If I were you, I'd prepare for the worst. What's that? <laughs> you talk big for an age worm. A lawyer! Give me a lawyer! You can call one if you want, but I don't think any will actually come out to the Ashlands. It's over, huh? What do you plan to do now? <laughs> Return to where I belong. That's all. There's no place for you in Baron anymore. Live your life as you wish, wherever you please. Master. He just fucks off! She knew what would be waiting when she came back to Baron. But even then, she still decided to... She made the choice. I'm sorry that you had to get mixed up in all of this. No, you aren't. Huh? What you're sorry for, Lulu, is running off without telling us. That's right. No matter what the danger, we face it together. That's how it is with friends, right? <sighs> I'm so sorry. Welcome home, Lulu. Okay, now what about the fat fuck? They gonna shoot him on the spot or what? Feed him to an ogre tail. So the elders said, all right, adios, I'm free, bye. Take care. <laughs> okay. That's in. Oh, Lord, you really did it this time, didn't you? The Baron Captain was arrested under Ashland Navigation Law. We handed him over to Gleipnir. At the same time, their vessel sent out the info Baron had on the beacons in the depths. That had to be Zeke and Keith. I've got to hand it to him for leaving no evidence. Baron could never admit to keeping such information, so they pinned it all on the captain. As you know, Baron is a strict port. I'm sure he'll be given a suitable punishment. And in the end, Baron has announced its withdrawal from the operation. Ah. That means we'll be setting out for Fenrir HQ on our own. Oh. Well, I suppose you could say we'll be better off without dead weight. That's enough of a tongue lashing. Be sure to talk to me before you act next time. <laughs> the trek will begin once we're all organized. Phase three is about to begin. This is the final stage. Oh shit! We're... I'm really counting on you. Then then we'll, then we'll be at Fenrir HQ. Holy fuck! Okay. Huh. Damn. Ha 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 ha!